The free version of Notful has several limitations which might give you a headache if you can't pay for the app. Since this is our go-to handwriting note-taking app that we use all the time, we came up with some pretty cool ways to help you never pay for the app but still use it to the maximum. Here are our five hacks if you want to use Noteful for free forever. Hey guys, it's Rob Seepak with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. If you'd like to learn more about how to use Noteful, we have a complete course for the app on our second YouTube channel, Paperless Humans. You can also get free access to the user guide on our website and we will have those links in the description down below. The free version of Noteful limits you to 10 notebooks, which is the most notebooks you will get for trying a new app. Notability and GoodNote 6 have put that limit at 3. So all things considered, Noteful is quite generous. There are several ways you can still get to use more than 10 notebooks in the app though. The first one is by using your recycle bin in an unconventional way. Noteful does not delete your notebooks, ever, unless you manually delete them yourself. That presents an opportunity for our first hack, where you can use the recycle bin as an archive folder instead. By deleting your unused notebooks, you leave fewer notebooks in the app, which allows you to create new ones. You can also combine notebooks with similar content using the merging feature in the app. You then have to delete the standalone notebooks to create room for new ones. If you're using the recycle bin as an archive, make sure you delete the merged documents from your archive slash recycle bin. You have to delete the notebooks you no longer need. This will just help you to keep your archive folder clean with only the notebooks you need in it. You also have to edit your tags for both the merged notebook and the standalone ones to either add or remove them from the app. This hack works because Noteful limits the number of notebooks you can create in the app, but it does not limit the pages a notebook can contain. Merging notebooks has worked for me as well, even though I have the paid version of the app, when I have a lot of notes for a single subject matter. For my app notes, I have merged two digital notebooks, which has allowed me to have two contents pages as I add more notes on different apps. Another way to use fewer notebooks is to use our digital notebooks. This allows you to create one notebook that can contain many topics on a single subject. Going back to my notes, each app or idea is a topic on my contents page. So instead of creating a new notebook for each app, I have one notebook with links to each app. By combining two digital notebooks with 16 topics each, I can group notes for 32 apps using just one notebook in Noteform. Once I run out of room on the contents page, 
I'll simply add another digital notebook. This time with room for 21 topics or 21 more apps. You can keep combining as many notebooks as you need. Even though I have the paid version of the app, I like having fewer notebooks to work with anyway, which is why I use these digital notebooks. You can purchase them from our online shop. We will link to them in this video. For most users, two layers for practice workbooks and tracing are probably enough. But sometimes you might need more, so to keep using layers in Noteful, you can merge the layers you no longer need. This is an obvious hack, but without to mention it. You can also use the tape for active recall instead of layers. That way, you can use your layers for other things. If you love using layers in Noteful, let us know what you're using them for. A limit on page templates is not a limit at all. For the free version of Noteful, there are several page templates you can't use. It is not a problem, especially for us because Noteful is the only handwriting note-taking app on the iPad that lets you import complete PDFs as page templates. That is why I have a complete collection of our digital notebooks in the app's template library. It's one of my favorite features about Noteform. So, if you want to use Cornell paper, storyboards, or digital planners, you can add them to the app's library as PDFs or as images. There are plenty of ways you can find paper templates you can download free ones online or purchase our Cornell digital notebooks as well. If you want to see your notes on your iPhone as well, the inability to sync across your devices can be a painful one. However, you can systematically export your data from your iPad and import it to your iPhone in Noteform. This can also be an excellent manual backup solution. For handwriting note-taking apps, manual backup might just be the best backup solution if we could get over how manual it feels. But that's a topic for another day. You can only bookmark two pages in a notebook when using the free version of Noteform. Bookmarks were great before we had universal tags. Since using Noteform, we don't bookmark any pages because tags have more advantages. Tagged pages are available on the home page. You can have multiple tags on a single page. And that is why it is better to use them instead of bookmarks. Noteful does not limit the number of tags you use in the app, which is perfect. If you're adamant or not paying for this brilliant handwriting note-taking app, we hope these hacks can help you achieve that goal. We would be curious to know how long you can use them before cracking and just paying for the pro version of the app. Do let us know if you try them or if you're already using them. Noteful is only $4.99 a one-time purchase and that makes it one of the cheapest handwriting note-taking apps you can buy for 2024. We hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. 
Let us know if you will be trying Note 4 for free. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.